Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to another video that was recommended to me by a patron. This video was actually recommended to me like a few months ago and it is a Life is Strange fan video. The thing is when uh, this person recommended this I was like... Wait, I just bought these games, so I maybe want to play them first. So as you can guess, this weekend I played the whole fucking game um, with my friend and um, we can't stop thinking about it. I know this game has been out for pretty long, but I had never played it before. Um, I got the third game for Christmas actually, like True Colors. Uh, I really liked that one. I was like, okay, maybe I should try like the first game as well and before the storm. So yeah, uh, this weekend we finished the last episode of Life Strange 1 and we played the whole before the storm game and... We are just so shocked. Cause like when the game started, I was like, yeah, this is like typical 2012, kind of cringy, like the things they're saying. I'm like, okay. But I mean, when I was 12, I would have eaten that shit up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. But like, then the ending happened and there were so many like plot twists and it was such an insane game. And Pompidou, Pompidou was so cute. I have like a lot of inside jokes about Life Strange now with my friends. So um, I feel like I'm like talking a lot of bullshit right now. But um, yeah, the conclusion is I'm going to react to a Life Strange fan video. And I thought, let's do it right now because now I'm like super into it. So um, yeah, I think it's best if I do it now and just like react to it with these feels I have right now. So it's a Rachel and Chloe shipping video, I think, because the uh, title is... Life Strange, Amber Price, One Friend. If I can be very honest, I shipped Rachel and Chloe way more than Chloe and Max. Because their relationship felt a little more natural to me. I feel like they're more like on each other's level and the chemistry was there. And with Max and Chloe, it sometimes felt a little forced to me. It was like they were childhood friends and then suddenly because all these events happened, they got together. And I'm not complaining, I'm still like kind of shipping them, but for me, Rachel and Chloe, that was the shit. So yeah, I'm going to react to this video now. Sorry for the really long intro, like I think my intro is longer than this video, but I had to express my love for life strange right now. So yeah, <laughs> let's watch the video. Spelled together, and I feel that way still. Sometimes we took the hard road, but we always saw it through. If I had only one friend left, I wanted to be you. I wonder why it's in black and white, though. Sometimes the world was on our side, sometimes it wasn't fair. I feel like also the, the train tracks, it's something that keeps coming back. It is so 2012. <laughs> I love this scene. And I, I found out that, I mean, you can ask her for a kiss, this. So we were instantly like, yes, a kiss. But then I think like the bracelet was the right choice or something. Just honestly, before the storm, made me so much more sad about what happened to Rachel. Because like, their story was so cute. And yeah, she really doesn't deserve what happened to her. Ah, uh, the train scene, that was also pretty fun. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I honestly loved Before the Storm, but it made me so much more sad about everything. Damn. I am so glad I played it though, because I feel like when you've played Before the Storm, you understand, um, well, especially Rachel's story. Well, actually, just Rachel and Chloe's story, you understand it so much better. Because um, I remember when we just played Life Strange. And then I was constantly like, why is Chloe so caught up in this Rachel thing? And then she said sometimes like, I really loved her. And then me and my friends were like, yeah, you were obviously together then. But I also feel like the game didn't give us that much. So I'm really happy they made Before the Storm because it gave me so much more insight in their relationship and what it was like. And honestly, after we played Before the Storm, you were like, I feel like Chloe is underreacting about Rachel's dad. I mean the scene where they... I mean I'm giving a lot of spoilers right now, but I suppose that everyone who's, who's watching either saw a gameplay or played the game. Otherwise, maybe leave because I'm giving spoilers right now. But um, when Chloe found the body, it was such a touching scene. Like the way she screamed and she was like, I really loved her Max. And it, it was heavy. I think that scene really shocked me the most. The way they actually found her body. And... I feel like that has such a different meaning for me now after playing Before the Storm. I gotta say I really like the, the video as well. I mean, I would have liked it maybe if it wasn't black and white. Maybe it's like to make it more dramatic. But I think one thing about Life is Strange is like kind of the fun thing is like the colors they use. The, like the really bright blue earring from Rachel and just the outfit choices. I think that's really nice, but I mean, that's a personal choice, of course, when making a video like this. Of course, there isn't a lot to go on because uh, I saw that sometimes the same scenes were being used, but like the game isn't that long, so you don't have that much to use. But overall, I think it was a really nice video. It was nice to see them again after crying for the entire weekend. <laughs> Um, no, but like I'm, I'm totally stuck on like I'm constantly looking at live strange fan art right now and, and videos and cosplays and damn I like I heard about this game when it came out I was like 12 or 13 um, But I never played it and now I played it for the first time I'm like damn, how did I not play this and now how did I not know this game was so fucking heavy but yeah, I'm really happy I played it and um yeah, it was a nice video. So let me know what you thought of this video or my reaction or the game in general. Did y'all play it? What shocked you the most? Curious about that. If you want to recommend me your own video, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Um, and then that was my reaction. So did you like it? Then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope to see you at my next videos. Bye!